Hey guys, it's Love Saloon here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this adorable butterfly single bracelet. This is not my own original design. This was sent to me by Jessie. She's on Instagram known as Looming by J. So please make sure to check her out and give her a follow. I think this bracelet is so adorable and it is so easy to make, which is always a plus. Um, it does not take a lot of bands. It only took me 64 bands to make this. I did not use a extension because I think that really um, ruins the bracelet. I think this looks a lot better going all the way around. Um, but yeah, so it is easy to make and let's go ahead and get started. So to make this bracelet, you will need two looms. Well, you need two looms if you're going to make it go all the way around your wrist like I did. You don't have to have two looms. Um, if you want to add an extension, then you just need one loom. Um, so I'll try to do this tutorial and explain it if you're only using one, but I will be using two. Um, one C-clip and then your hook. I'll be using my metal hook from RainbowLoom.com. For my colors, I'm going to use black and white, uh, lime green, or no, I'm sorry, neon green and yellow. So you just, all we need are two bar pins facing in the opposite direction. You don't have to remove the left bar pin, but I wanted it out of my way, so that's why I did remove mine. Um, and this does take the length of the loom, if you haven't figured that out um, this far. So let's go ahead and start laying the bands. We're just going to start by laying a single chain border just going up the right side. If you are making, um, if you're using two looms, then you will want to go up about, I believe I went up 17 pins. Yeah, I did. I went up 17 um, pins to the right. So just follow along with me. If you are using one loom, I will show you where to stop. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to just start um, laying, I'm going to use white for my middle border. So going from this left pin here into the right. And like, again, this color that I'm laying now is going to be for the center um, banding that's going to come up the middle of the bracelet. So if that can help you choose what color you want to do. So we're just going to go up the right side. Like I said, I would go up about 17 which is what fit the length of my wrist, and my wrist is pretty tiny. Well, it looks big because it's zoomed in, but it really isn't. <laughs> so just keep doing that. Not much to it. Now, if you're using one loom, at this point, I'm at the end of my loom here, um, you would actually stop right here. Actually, I'm sorry, you would stop at this peg before the last one and bring that in like that if you're only using one loom um, and then just I guess hold all, hold up or fast forward to the next part and I'll tell you what to do. If you're using two looms like me, keep going until you have gone up about 17 pins. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I'm at 14, 15, 16, and 17. Now once you laid your last band there, so again I laid 17 going up the right side, just go ahead and lay your last one going into the left and up like that. And you can go ahead and just push those bands down a little bit. I'm going to go back to the beginning of the loom, making sure your arrows are still facing away from you. And I don't think I said that in the beginning, so hopefully you guys uh, see my loom set up and figured that out. So at this point, we are going to go up and lay um, kind of like a, like if you're making just a regular single bracelet when you make like the zigzags. That's what we're going to do now. I'm going to use yellow and green for that. Um, so starting at this pin here, we're going to go out and up to the left like that. And now we're going to go from that pin to the right. And then from that pin, we're going to go out to the left. And I'm going to alternate between yellow and green because I want two colors on my bracelet. And just keep doing this all the way up, just going back and forth. It's pretty easy. If you're um, using one loom, you should still be doing um, what I'm doing right now. I will show you where to stop. And 
and if you are using one loom this band here that I just laid over is going to be your last band no it isn't I'm sorry I keep going one up if it should be this should be your last band if you're using one loom sorry so your white should be coming down like this and then your green should be going up like that because that will close it off so that's what it should look like if you have one loom and you can fast forward for the next step. But if you are using two looms with me, um, just keep adding on your bands like so. And sorry, I just want to make sure that everyone can make this bracelet even if they don't have two looms. So hopefully you guys understand. And this is the last band that we're going to lay like so. So you should have your yellow going in and then the white coming out like that. And push your bands down. Make sure your loom looks like this. Just a bunch of zigzags. And I would definitely push your bands down because now we're actually going to be adding a cap band onto the left side of our loom where all of our um, yellow and greens are meeting. Just get those out of the way a little bit. And if your loom looks like that, we can go ahead and proceed. Now, I like to turn my loom around because it makes it easier for me to add the cap band on, being that I'm right-handed. So, for my cap band, I'm actually going to use black because this is going to end up inside the bracelet. So, starting on this first pin, I'm going to actually use white so that it matches my border. You're just going to wrap it around two times to make a cap band. Whoa, sorry, that was a little too much. So you should just have a little cap band there, and we're going to do that all along the right side. I'm going to use black, though. So just wrap it around twice. You can use your fingers, your hook, whatever makes it easier for you to get that cap band on there is fine. Just two times, going all the way up the right side, except the very last pin. And one loomers do the same thing. Just don't put it on that very last um, pin on the right side. Leave the last one because it's not needed. If you're a speedy loomer, you can go ahead and fast forward and catch up with me for my next instructions, which will be the hooking process. If not, you can certainly go ahead and keep following along. My loom's so long, it's getting in my way. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, move out of the way. And this will be my last um, one that I'm putting my cap band on. And this is my last pin here that we do not need to put one on. So you can leave that um, blank. So I'm just going to push my bands down a little bit on the left side because now we're going to be going inside that cap band for the looping process. And just make sure your loom looks like this with the cap band all the way on the right side. Sorry if I was like crooked, my loom was going into my stomach and I could not move it anymore. <laughs> so, okay, so if your loom looks like this, we're going to start the, the hooking process. By doing so, we're going to start on this second pin here. And we're going to go into this cap band and we're going to be bringing all the zigzags back to themselves. So going inside this cap band here, we're going to grab that top band, which is yellow. So I'm going to try to do this sideways a little bit so you can see. So go in that cap band, grab in the top band, which is yellow, and just bringing it back to itself, which would be down. Now we're going to go back inside that cap band, grabbing that green band and bringing that forward to the left. And that's what you're going to do all the way up the right side. So pull back that cap band, grabbing the yellow, bringing it to itself. 
going inside grabbing the green doing the yellow again and now the green and you're just gonna keep doing that so I'm just gonna keep doing it I'm not gonna fast forward or anything so you can follow along Just make sure you're going. Oh, make sure you're going inside the cap band. And if what just happened to me happens to you, just grab that band and put it back on there. Grab a cap band and just twist it back on. It's a very easy, easy mistake to fix. You did it again. Unbelievable. So as you can see, I keep popping my cap bands off of the loom. So you may want to just kind of hold on to your cap band as you go to do it. So that doesn't keep happening to you. Oh, I got ahead of myself. Sorry about that, guys. And this is a super easy bracelet, like I mentioned before, um, but I think it's cute. I like the little quick, easy bracelets. They're always fun when you're not sitting around forever. Although I like those too. <laughs> Sorry that my hand keeps getting in the way, but it's the only camera angle I can use for this type of bracelet. And I'm looping my last bands in my out of my cap band. So now this is what your loom should look like. All the way down. And now we're just going to go ahead and loop our border, which is really easy. We're just going to go inside this front cap band, pushing that out of the way, grabbing that white band, which is my border band, and bringing that to the left. And now going inside this uh, pin to the left here. Just make sure you push all those top bands out of the way because we need to grab this bottom one. Let me show you. We got to grab that and just go ahead and loop that forward and do that um, all the way up the bracelet. And I did actually want to say um, the directions that I got from Jesse to make this bracelet was to just loop it up with these um, staying on the right side and you can certainly do that um, at the end though they're like hanging out so you've really got to stretch your bracelet and push them into position which um, what I noticed that you can also do is before you loop that border band if you just pop them all off just be careful but you can just undo all the cap bands just Take them all off. Just make sure you don't take anything off of the left side. Now you don't have to do this, but I just think it made it a lot easier. And then just like kind of push them into the center. You can just use your hook. And just like push them in a little bit. We're going to like fix it at the end, but I just think it makes it easier if you do it now. It just helps them get into position. So, because this is where they need to be in the middle. So as you can see on this first one, how it's like kind of hanging out. So now that I've done that, now I'm going to continue out with the border. Like I said, you don't have to do that. You can loop it straight out without doing that. And then when you take it off, we'll stretch it. But I just think that makes it um, a little cleaner and fall into place a little bit easier. Um, but back to this pin. So go in here and just keep pushing all those bands out of the way, grabbing the bottom band. 
pushing them all out of the way and going forward. So this is a really simple step. So just keep going all the way up. You can certainly push your bands down so you have room to add your border on. Again, just make sure you're getting in all the way inside all those cap bands. Sorry for the clanking. <laughs> I just hit something with my foot. So hopefully I can start getting a little more uploads done for you guys because I know summer is starting or off summer break and I know everyone is super excited for school to be over. I know my little one is. Alright. And from... <clears throat> Sorry that my loom's like wobbly. It's just so long it's hanging off my table. Um, so from this pin here, just go out to the right. Like so. And now we can go ahead and add our C-clip on to this uh, band here or you can put your take it off with your hook and do it that way but I'm just gonna do it now so just pop your c-clip on there and then you can just go ahead and pull straight up pulling it off of the loom da, 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 da. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this big loom here. And this is what it looks like when you first take it off. It may look a little bit messy. Um, if we did not, if you did not take the cap bands off like I did before looping the border, all of your black things are going to be out to the side like that. So you just have to grab piece by piece and go all the way down the bracelet and pull on it and kind of go like this to push it in the middle but yeah I think that came out pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and clip it to the other end which is really easy because there's already a cap in there to just clip it to so grab your ends I'm doing this upside down okay there we go all right, so here we have the finished look of the bracelet. I think this color looks so awesome. I'm glad I chose that. So yeah, um, again, this is called the Butterfly Single Bracelet. I'm losing focus here, sorry. This is the Butterfly Single Bracelet done by Jessie. Again, she's on Instagram. Her name is Looming by Jay, so definitely give her a follow and a nice little shout out for this cute little adorable bracelet. I think she did a good job on it. It's fun and it's super quick. So yeah, I hope you guys like this bracelet as much as I do. And I cannot wait to see you guys at my next tutorial. And also, I can't believe I forgot to tell you, don't forget, also check me out on Instagram at Love Saloon. So don't forget to hit that like button below and hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!